are you doing today? Yo guys, what is up? Max Red Diablo 4 video, and today I want to show you how I am quadrupling my damage on the Druid class. Now, this has to do with a double dip interaction. If you're not familiar with what a double dip means, it basically means I am getting the same damage multipliers that I have, applying multiple times, allowing for crazy ramping damage. Now, uh, this could be unintended. It might be. Uh, showing on screen right now is a little damage number screenshot that I took where my shred is hitting for 587,000 damage, but my double dip is hitting for 2.2. We're basically dealing four times our damage when we are double dipping, which we're able to double dip 100% of the time, which I'm going to show you. Now, this is all fun and dandy, but what happens if this number, the number that I'm actually hitting for, goes up? Uh, and that is what this screenshot is. This is me hitting for a 2.9 million hit, and then my double dip hitting for around 8.2 million damage. Uh, and with this setup, I've been able to absolutely delete content on the Druid, and I want to explain how I'm doing this, uh, and so that you guys can take advantage of it while we still can. So the culprit of this double dip interaction is the Storm Claws aspect. This reads, Critical Strikes with Shred deal a percentage of the damage dealt as lightning damage to the target and surrounding enemies. Now, I've currently got a 41% on my amulet, not a max roll, but when I critically strike with Shred, when I'm using a Waxing Gibius, so my Shred critically strikes are guaranteed. I'm critting 100% of the time, which means I'm getting this aspect 100% of the time. When we do that, uh, we are getting a percentage of our damage dealt as lightning damage. Now, because I'm using the Waxing Gibius, all my attacks are guaranteed critically strikes, uh, but this aspect, the lightning damage that happens from this aspect never critically strikes. Uh, and that is the reason that we can identify that that is what is dealing so much damage in all of my clips and all of my things. I've always got my shred hitting for a high damage number in this scenario. We've got a 2.9 million damage shred. And then the lightning aspect hitting a non-crit number that is way higher. Uh, here we've got an 8.2 million hit with that aspect. So we are getting four times our damage from an aspect that is only giving us 41% of our damage dealt as lightning. Now, how is that possible? And in order to understand how we're getting so much damage out of something that should be doing less damage, you need to understand how double dip damage interactions work. Now, the way that this is working, uh, I'm gonna simplify it because there's a lot going on here, but the simplified version is I'm getting a damage multiplier applying twice. So I am hitting an enemy with shred. My vulnerable damage, to simplify it, it's at 108%, Let's just say it's 100% increased damage to vulnerable. I am dealing double damage to vulnerable enemies. Now, if I deal double damage to vulnerable enemies, my shred, let's say it's a base damage of 100, now is hitting for 200 damage. However, my damage is not done yet because even though I just hit for 200 damage, I've still got follow-up damage from our Storm Claws aspect. Now, this aspect is going to feed off of my new base damage, so it's going to grab that 200, and it's going to hit the enemy and the enemy is still vulnerable. So I'm going to get that times two damage again. I'm getting it on my initial hit, and I'm getting that damage multiplier again on our aspect. Now, on my build, I've got enough damage increases where we've got like damage versus close, damage versus healthy, damage versus injured, damage versus poisoned. Uh, I'm getting enough damage multipliers so that even though that this is a smaller percentage, the fact that it's getting my damage multipliers again and then again uh, is leading it to be a higher number than our original base number. Um, and obviously, uh, if you did want to mess around with this and try to see how high of a number you could get, you could put it on a two-hander weapon just to make it like absolutely ridiculous, but then you wouldn't be able to use the Waxing Gibius. And the quality of life for this is really important because every time we hit an enemy with Waxing Gibius on, as long as we've killed an enemy recently, we're getting this guaranteed. In order to deal the absolute most damage with this aspect, you want to grab all of the conditional damage multipliers that would be able to apply multiple times. So, for example, um, in Venom, poisoned enemies take 60% additional critical damage 
this would only dip once because I can't critically strike. So this is going to give me more damage with my aspect, but it's not going to apply twice. So it's not as important. Uh, it is still important, but not quite as important. Versus, for example, Heightened Malice, this is a conditional damage multiplier that is going to apply twice. While there are three or more poison enemies nearby, you deal 45% increased damage. My Shred Damage will get this multiplier, and then I'm going to get this damage multiplier again because it's an all-damage dealt multiplier for my aspect. And shifting my build slightly around, because this is a constant 100% uptime, to grab a lot of global damage modifiers has led me to hitting for four times the damage that I would normally be doing um, with my Lightning Shred build. And I will update my, like, Stormclaw Lightning Shred build guide on the website to reflect this because I originally had uh, this aspect, yet your Grizzly Rage now shapeshifts to you into a Direwolf. I had that on the amulet. Uh, I do not put that on the amulet anymore because this aspect pumps such absurd damage. Uh, I wish I could put this on a two-hander, but just can't really do that with this build. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to show that off for you. Guys, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I wanted to get this video out like four or five days ago, but I've been in Rhode Island for the past four days. Uh, it was my mom's 60th birthday, so I went and celebrated with her. So I've got a bunch of like YouTube content that's been backed up and delayed. So I apologize if you might have already seen or known about this. Uh, I wanted to get this video out a few days ago. But yeah, this amulet or this interaction is crazy it's probably going to get changed i would assume maybe not because like barbarian has hoda and hoda i think is doing the same thing with double dipping on its aspect uh this aspect we can get it to do it 100 percent of the time and it just hits for absolutely ridiculous damage so if you're working on a shred build or wanting to get into one uh make sure that you're using this and grabbing all of the global damage modifiers that you can get uh things that are going to apply multiple times like damage to close damage to vulnerable all damage dealt uh damage while shapeshifted things like that that will multiple dip into this aspect to start pumping damage on the druid and quadruple your damage uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will catch you on the next one guys take care peace